Hi, I hope you're having another wonderful day. Today is another beautiful day here in England. The sun is starting to set and it's a nice cool temperature. It just, it feels, it feels really good. I have a vacation coming up pretty soon to a pretty hot place. And we're gonna see what that feels like because I've gotten so used to the, the comfortable, more temperate climate here. Uh, I would call it temperate, but just really cool of climate here, especially in the summer here in England. And so I've had a lot of questions from people in the comments and reaching out to me directly asking about moving to the UK and moving overseas. And I just wanted to kind of talk about that for a brief moment. I had some things that I was thinking about specifically in relation to some of the key differences if you want to move to the UK, especially if you're coming from, say, the United States. So forgive me, I may look down a little bit because I actually wrote the things down because there was so many, I wanted to make sure I covered them. And in no particular order, so here are some key things that I think you should really consider if you're moving, especially from the United States to the United Kingdom, if there's some, something you really want to do. First, if you're a driver, there's not a gas station on every corner, or as they say in the UK, a petrol station. In the US, you have them stacked up. You could have uh, you know, one every mile. You could get to come to a four-way stop. There could easily be a station on one side of the road and another right there on the other side of the road, and then maybe even another on the other corner. You don't have that here. The, the, the stations, petrol stations, gas stations for Americans are much more spread out. So you have to be very deliberate about your driving and when you leave and making sure you keep enough petrol in your car to be able to get to where you want to get and get back home again. You have to be very deliberate about that. Another thing, the banking system in the UK is not the same as the banking system in the US. I won't get into all the particulars, but I will say this. If you plan to rent an apartment or a home here in the UK, in Britain, you have to have a UK bank account. The rental places that I've, all of them that I worked with, all of them that I tried to rent a home with, they were not compatible with the US banking system. They wanted you to have a UK bank account. Speaking of having that, you also had to prove your residency. Now that's something specific. I don't know if that's for everyone, but my wife and I, we had to prove our residency. So we have a you know UK residency card and we had to prove our residency before we could rent an apartment here. So those are some things that you have to kind of consider as well. Another key thing for Americans that you should think about, there's no Walmart or Target on every corner. Like every city has a Walmart, every city has a Target. And sometimes if you have a larger city, town, you'd have multiple. I think even in Richmond, Virginia, there are about five or six super Walmarts there just in Richmond. And consumerism is extremely abundant in the U.S. You have pl plenty of places to shop, plenty of places you can go to, to just, you know, it, stores galore. I'm not saying that you don't have those same shopping centers. We have a shopping center here, which is a really phenomenal mall. We actually, I think we did a video on it where we, you know, we walked around this mall. And if I, if I can remember, I'll, I'll tag that video just so you can see what that mall looks like. It's pretty close to where we live at. And it's a really great mall. So you have availability to stores, but you just don't have as much. So it kind of ties into just like you don't have those gas stations on every corner. You don't have uh, stores and department stores repeated every uh, five to six miles every 10 miles five or six different places in one town in in one city that's another thing that you have to think about another key thing and I know most people really don't think about this before moving to the UK from special again from the United States you need to learn the language and are you saying English what would they speak English in the UK They speak English in America American English is not British English there are words and phrases and terms that are very different and you really need to learn those words and phrases and terms uh, I put a couple examples I wrote down here trainers instead of sneakers in the U in the US is sneakers right you go get on put on a pair of sneakers you go play basketball so forth and so on here in the UK is trainers fries versus chips now this is a really tricky one because i've had people here in the uk say hey fries are those very skinny things like what you get from mcdonald's those are french fries uh those are fries i don't even think no if i haven't heard the term french fries used very often here at all but those are fries uh not chips but in the u.s I, for the most part regardless of shape 
they're, they're french fries. You know, whether they're thin, narrow, home cut, however you, however you shape them, they're, they're french fries and they're not necessarily called chips. In the United States, of course, chips are going to be like potato chips and what you get out of a bag. Here in the UK, those are called crisp. And I don't want to get into all of the specific differences, but I just want to highlight that you really need to learn the language if you're going to be moving to the UK again like from the US you're gonna you need to learn that language learn some of those key differences so you when you go out and you're interacting with people you're asking for the right thing uh, and you're not confusing yourself or you're not confusing others and that ties into what I believe the last and the most important thing before moving to the United to move to the United Kingdom from the United States in particular really this applies to no matter where you're coming from, if you're trying to come here or if you're moving to any other country, this is key. Think about this. The United Kingdom is the United Kingdom. It is not your home country. Whatever your home country of origin is, if your home country is the United States and you come here, this place is not that place. One of the key things that you have to keep in mind if you're gonna be someone who moves overseas and go live in another country, is that you really need to consider the fact that when you're moving to that other country it is on you to to really learn everything you can about that country so you can assimilate to that culture it's, even if you're going there to visit just for a vacation it's good to do some due diligence and research so you can understand how that culture operates how that culture is and things that are you know acceptable and not acceptable but a key thing to think about when you come here from the US this is the United Kingdom it is not the United States so some things are going to be different the laws are different the rules are different I'm not going to try to get into all of them I want to push that imperative back on you to where if you're someone who wants to move here I want to say you need to start doing some deep research and thinking about what that really means and what is specific to the United Kingdom that you need to be aware of for yourself before you consider moving here and above all when you move here don't try to make this place be that place come here this is a beautiful country I actually really enjoy being here um, I'm always outside the weather is great the people are very friendly and I'm not saying that that's not the same in other places with other people but I'm saying that accept this place for what it is as it is and understand that you are coming here to be a part of this culture and you can bring a little bit of your own flavor from your home country of course but at the same time you're coming here to assimilate to be a part of the culture here so while you're here you know the classic phrase when in Rome right do as the Romans do well when you come here think about the world and instead of getting in the line get in the queue and go out there and have some fun so those are just some of the things that I was thinking about specifically to try to answer that question for people who've been asking me about moving over here and and some things to consider you when you move here from the United States you're going to be away from your friends and your family you can definitely of course still talk to them and you know have phone conversations and video Skype and zoom and all those type things you can do that but you're gonna be away from friends and family potentially if that bothers you consider that um, you have to assimilate into this culture and you have to meet the requirements to stay here and get your residency and I may cover some of those in another video where I go into a bit more specifics um, and hey if I miss something that's really important then cover that in the comments drop drop down into the comments below and cover what I may have missed some of those key things that you need to consider if you're an American coming to to stay here but I think that I covered some of them I really just want to get you thinking about it and most importantly as I've stated before I close with this the United Kingdom is the United Kingdom it is not your home country of origin to be happy here you have to assimilate to hear and learn how to operate within the rules and the confines of this culture and you will be happier I believe doing that and if you're not someone who really is open to that to that type of change then maybe come for a vacation and see all the sites and you know maybe the thing to do is just come for a vacation and then you know you can go back home and and you can have seen all those sites but if you're someone who wants to come and be a resident then you really need to consider what that means and make sure you're in the right space so i just wanted to cover that i hope you had a wonderful day and i hope you have another great day tomorrow take care